Hey everyone, it's Orange. Welcome to the fourth and hopefully last exclusive summoning session for Orion, the water ball rat brownie magician blueberry thing. I've already done 165 or somewhere thereabouts exclusive summons for Orion with no luck. He has been my only mistake where I foddered a monster that I shouldn't have, so I'm back and I'm ready to get him this time around. We have 36 exclusive summons for him, 37 if necessary. I figured I should just wait around until everything rolled over, rush hours over, I can buy some more stacks of stones from the guild shop, so if I do not get him, I will buy two stacks, do another summon. If it's not him, I will continue buying stones until I get him. And it also wouldn't be bad to get any of these nat fives. Even if I get Orion, actually, by the way, we're gonna pop everything. 21 mysticals, two scrolls of light and darkness, and two legendary scrolls. TOA and TOA hard just reset. I'm gonna show you to prove it to you guys. So I just uh, did both of those. Even if I get Orion from the legendaries or the mysticals, I'm still gonna use all of my stones and I might even buy some from the guild shop because when does a rotation get this good with so many usable nat fours that are also skill ups and these nat fives? I'm really looking at these nat fives. Raki, come on, get out of here. I already have Ritesh too, so I think this rotation is going to be worth it. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to do everything in my normal order, starting with mysticals, then light and dark, then legendary, then exclusives. Here we go. Wouldn't that be funny if it's Orion? No, it's not going to be. It's only going to be something useless. Okay, so one lightning so far. Good lightning rate, two in a row. What's it gonna be? The same exact monster, but a different element. How lucky am I? And I just devil mod my Julie like two weeks ago. I didn't fully devil mod her. I had some Pierre. I don't know how to say that word. Skill ups because we had a light one. And I believe I just put one devil mod on her. So that's kind of useless, but whatever. Okay, ooh, arena skill up. I still need arena skill ups for my first one. That would be lovely. Maybe we can get some more here. It's not looking good. Now we're just getting some fodder. So two lightnings and I had 21 scrolls. So that's about to be expected. Let's see if we can get another. Uh, not looking like it, not looking like it. Okay, next we go to the Scrolls of Light and Darkness. First one, here comes our Bella, or our farmable monster, or that. Perfect. Next one, oh, holy shit, don't give me lightning, I just want a Bella. What is that? I don't think that's any good. I generally don't see people using that. Actually, you can use this with a Lucian variant team because it has the speed lead skill. So let's check this out. At least it wasn't a Hall of Heroes monster. I've gotten a Conrad, a Ran, and something else. I think I got a third lightning that was a Hall of Heroes. So yeah, um, this leader skill you can use with Tion, the Light Garuda. Don't fodder your Tions because he is not farmable. Even though he's only a two-star monster, you can only get him from Temple of Wishes, or when they give a free Tion to you. So you can use this dude with uh, Tion and boost up Illusion and use Illusion variant team. I think that's the only place I've seen him used. So I guess that's cool. If you guys have any suggestions for that dude, let me know. I think his name is Jin. Um, it might be Gin, but I think it's Jin. So pretty cool name. Here we go with the two legendaries, and then we have a ton of stones to burn through. It's about time for me to get a nat 5 or a fusible monster. That's what time it is. Um, so I've talked about this before, but it's been eight months, I believe, at this point in time since I've gotten a nat 5. And in that time frame, I've farmed TOA normal and hard every single month, which means I should have gotten, or I would have gotten, I've already done 18 legendary scrolls plus some more that I've gotten from World Boss or from the pieces or whatever. 
and the odds that I should have gotten at least one nat 5 are pretty high, like in the 70s or 80s or something. So, um, I'm due, but, well, I'm not really due because you guys know how odds work. Hey, I don't have that dude yet. I pulled the Fire Dice Magician a couple weeks ago, so, um, that's cool to get a new monster, but I don't know how usable he is. So, here we go. Let's just start powering through. Here comes Orion. Oh my fucking god. That's pretty awesome. First summon Orion. I'm really happy about that. We got him again, boys. We got him again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lock Orion, and then like I said, I don't think there is a better rotation to use stones on, because just those nat fives are so good. So, I wonder who's messaging me. We'll check that later. Um... I was going to show you guys something first. I already have Gemini skill ups ready for Orion because I figure he's the best one to skill up and I'm hoping that I max his third skill fairly quickly because I want to use him on my Guild Wars defense and shout outs to Sofa King Epic. I'm fighting with them this week and we'll see how long for. They set um, full defenses every week so hopefully we will get some good fights, good Guild Wars videos, and I'll improve. I haven't um, built any new Guild Wars monsters in a while so it'll be a challenge and I will probably be forced to build some more. So Orion is perfect just in time. So I was talking about having him on defense. Um, if you skill up his fly fly, he has it off cooldown more and he might use it more. Like I've seen some Orions use the fly fly instead of using harmless prank. So I'm hoping that I can just skill up the harmless prank and then stop at that point. So that's what I've heard people suggest to do with skill ups. Just do the harmless prank and then that's it. Okay, let's continue on. Um, with more summons. So if I do get unlucky, wouldn't that be funny if this is a second Orion? No, okay. Um, what's that one called? I forgot his name, but he kind of sounded somewhat legit with um, a bomb team. I've never seen anyone use him though, so he must not be that legit. Hey, a fire mummy. Um, I actually got Guardian 1 for the second time ever this weekend, or a couple hours ago. Let me show you guys. Just gotta share my accomplishment with the double fire mummy defense. Freya, Rena, double fire mummy. And I order my monsters in a particular order because when I'm doing arena, you have to click in the bottom left of your screen with your thumb to select the skill you want. Then you have to click on the monster. So I figure the furthest away from the, or the bottom right of the screen, the furthest away from the skills you put the monster, the harder it is for people to hit. So yeah, sorry. Um, Double Fire Mummy, super good. I just thought I'd mention that. I'm giving you guys like all these tips while I summon. Um, let's get back to the summoning session. Let me go ahead and put all these things over here. Let's see. Uh, that can go. Maybe I can use that self for a skill up on possibly my Shimate because I've been using that more. I've pretty much only been using my Doublution, well yeah, this rush hour, I only used Bernard, Doublution, Megan, and Shimate, Bernard, Megan, Lucian. So, yeah, no nat fives. Um, I did use some nat fives for the first part of the hour, but nothing like super impressive, I don't feel. Okay, we will continue on. Another lightning, this is the third lightning. <clears throat> A hua. I already have a couple hua's, so I don't really need that, but it's cool, I guess. Hopefully we can get a nat 5. Nat 5, baby, nat 5, baby, it's time. No, it's not time. Um, it's, it's time. I think it's time, though. So we'll keep doing these, and I'm actually going to buy the stones from the guild shop anyways to uh, try to get a nat 5. I was thinking about those nat fives, which one would be the best to get. Um, I think Ariel and Chiwu would be super good because, um, yeah, actually they're all really good, but I was trying to order them which one would be the most useful. I was thinking Ariel might be the most useful for defense, but I've been doing okay with the mummies, so maybe not. Um, Chiwu, I know he has the speed lead and the strip, but he's no Tiana but he'd be really good either way for the strip, so I wouldn't have to use, like, Soha or something. Um, we're getting pretty close here. 
I think they'd all be good, so I'm just gonna shut up because I don't know too much about those <laughs> Nat 5s. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move some more monsters over, and then I will go ahead and buy the guild stones so we can just do everything. We don't have to have any build up or anything like that. So let's go over here and buy these up. This probably is a bad idea because I need to buy my guild flags. I've talked, okay, here's some more orange advice. I'm going on another rant. The guild flags are much more reliable. You actually get stuff from them. If you want to do the math yourself, you can. Just add up, go to the Summoner's War Wiki. It's a website. Figure out the total cost of all of these flags for guild points add it up, and then figure out how many scrolls you can buy with those points. You might have to do kind of a weekly calculation, and then you can figure out the odds for getting a nat 5 from these scrolls. I think really calculating the odds for a nat 5 is the only thing that's worth it um, from these scrolls. Um, your odds of like a nat 4 if you're looking for Orion is going to be 1 in 36 for a water scroll. It's just way too small not reliable, so I wouldn't do any of that math. Much better to do summoning stones for Orion. So I actually did the math and the odds for a nat 5 were like 75% chance, I think. So do you only want a 75% chance for one nat 5 and then the odds for one or more nat 5s is going to be even lower? Or do you want every single guild flag? I'd go for the guild flags, super OP. My copper has been doing much more damage ever since I bought those. So I do think that that's the correct decision. So right now we're kind of hoping for odds that are very slim, but you never know. Okay, two more summons left and then that will be the end of the summoning session. <laughs> so that was it guys. Let me double check because sometimes I miss scrolls. Yeah, okay, so that was it. Um, so four lightnings I think, two pirate captains, one Orion, one Rakshasa out of, that's, that's about average. The lightning rate for nat 4s for exclusive stones is a bit lower than nat 5s or for um, for nat 4s, for exclusives is lower than like mysticals, which is kind of weird. I'm going to link um, the Swar Farm data logs for you guys down below if you want to check out how or what the odds are from what people have logged. I don't know how to exactly explain it, but Swar Farm has been logging everyone who chooses to connect to them. They've been logging everyone's summons and they've been getting numbers from that. So super awesome that I finally got Orion and I've done all my summons so I have no more. Unfortunately I didn't get any of those nat 5s. From this point on with exclusive stones I'm either going to go for... Oh I didn't get Fuko. He probably would have been pretty good for Necro because I don't have a Necro team right now. I still have to figure that out. Um, okay what was I saying? Um, I'm probably either going to go for rotations with three really good nat 5s, like this one. Um, also having a third illusion might not be bad because I only have two at this point in time. And I'm not really sure, so I'm kind of a procrastinator. I will think about this later. Hey, this one, this rotation might actually be kind of okay. Uh, I don't know. So I'll think about it and get back to you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this summoning session. I will catch you guys later. I think I'm gonna try something that I ain't, I ain't never did before on this one. Let's go. Don't stare, cause I got the ultimate marriage.